name and welcome back to my channel Th thank you thank you for being here if you're new welcome hi i'm lynn and here we talk about all things looking good feeling good and smelling good at mostly reasonable prices so if any or all of that sounds interesting to you just gotta hit that subscribe button and fam this is part two to for things i've been loving I had a specific fragrance radio, and then part one with some of the products, and I realized very quickly there needs to be a part two. So let's hop into it. This is the Taraj P. Henson Anything Glows uh, Vanilla and Tuberose Body Oil. This... How can I say? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so I'm about here on this this oil. I use this a lot, but I never feel like I have to use a lot of it because I don't just use the oil. I usually also use a lotion. If I do just use the oil, I'm literally, I literally remember to bring that with me into... Oh, it's done already. Bring, me, bring that with me into the bathroom so I put it on right as I'm still wet out the shower. And that's actually newer to my collection, but I've been using quite a bit, and I like a lot. It's Carol Daughter's Almond Cookie Frappe Body Lotion. When I first smelled this, I was like, the almond note is strong. Almost slightly sharp in here. Like a very punchy almond note. Now, funny enough for me, almonds and cherry start to share very familiar smelling smells so in here there are notes of marzipan tonka bean and warm vanilla it's beautiful it's like a hug guys this is beautiful this is it calms down within like a minute of being on your skin into this very warm nutty smell and i'm noticing i like like honey nutty f smells um creamy smells uh lemon smells for like fall-esque type of weather creamy smell i was just literally just saying i love is this right here this is cleo and co's sweets and sugar body lotion this is orange pink berries bergamot cotton candy baby powder and caramel now it is a powdery type of smell but it's also creamy somehow it's it's creamy in like a milky way um which maybe the powder and the caramel are mixing to make that smell I am a ambassador for Cleon Co. It is a small, biz, a uh, small female-owned business. I really love this smell. There's something creamy but also powdery about it in the same realm, and it's a fruity, creamy, powdery smell. I I really like the new. If you need a vibe, it doesn't smell like it, but if you need a vibe to go off of, think of uh. Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Blush. You know that creamy orange type of smell, like that fruit with the cream smell? That's something I would go along the lines that this falls under. The creamy, fruity smell. It's very pretty, but there's a powdery touch to this. Like a true, clean powder smell. Um, not baby powder and not like makeup. So I'm not sure. It says baby powder, but it doesn't smell baby to me like i have three i've used a decent amount of the tug free powders but um i like this a lot and it's very easy to mix with just about everything this fits under the category also for me like sea fury um it fits under guys i mix this with a lot of stuff actually narciso pudre goes really well with this if narciso pudre is just really basic to you or you want to give her just a pinch of razzle without completely removing the smell of narciso pudre this goes really well with this goes really well with that um i liked it okay i think i'm gonna move away from this one we'll see though because i have pear fragrances that could work well with this this is cleon Cole's sweet spring body lotion this might perhaps be uh one of my fave um less gourmand scents from the collection uh from the whole brand as a whole there's something about this that it's like a weirdly fruity floral cookie something weirdly floral cookie fruit cookie i 
I I like this. I um it's also weirdly absurdly strong. There is a clean, sweet, like perfumey vibe about this, and then there is a gourmand cookie vibe about this. It's weird and amazing. It really is amazing. My husband loves the smell of this. I've gotten compliments from this. Um, I don't actually lotion my kids with anything but the baby lotion just yet. However, my oldest will be turning three soon. And I think I would enjoy putting, um, not B scents per se. Like I would put sweater weather on my son just a little bit so he has a little you smell good because her products are cruelty free as well as um uh crafted <laughs> this product is processed thoroughly with love and care and was designed for sensitive skin in mind when i hold my children they smell like whatever i'm wearing anyway like people are like oh my god your kids always smell great i don't spray fragrances on my kids they're babies um but if i touch them and i have fragrance on the fragrance transfers to them that's just kind of how they are they're built like their freaking grandfather who will spray two sprays on him and you're smell it 14 15 hours later no matter what it is he sprayed on him um but anyway back to this is golden pears magnolia petals and butter cookies it sounds oddly weird like the combo you're like why what made you say let's take these three scents and mix them together it's touched by the angels this is quite literally amazing Y'all know I'm going to talk about this. I've been talking about this all summer and I'm still using it. This is Bath & Body Works with Coconut Milkshake. This is amazing. It is a creamy, coconut, delicious, gourmand smell. Vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. I think you could fully go into fall with this. That ambery sugar note and the toasted coconut makes this have some depth and richness to it that is just immaculate and i don't think coconut has to be stuck in summertime i just don't i've also been gassing this this is actually almost empty like this is a lot of this is just air this is um champagne apple and honey I don't think I need to say much about this because I, I see a lot of people talking about this. This is amazing. Um, Scandal obviously gets mixed. A lot of, I mean, I mix this with a few different things, but I love this. I should probably repurchase this. I love this. Another one that I talked uh, ad nauseum about during the summertime was whipped rose and vanilla because a fragrance I used a lot was Delina La Rose and the um, uh, Club Dinner Wheat Imperial White by Armoff, which is like a Delina, La, uh, Delina, Delina exclusive family member. And this is magical. This also works very well with... Um, my scent of the day today is uh, Amethyst by Latafa mixed with um, Dapper Fragrances Silky Woods. I smell very good. Um, and I could also, it's a, any rose fragrance, any fragrance, this also works well with Miss Class by Dua. Any rose fragrance, I'll go work with this. Any fragrance you want to add some creamy, sweet, thick floral aspect you can work this works very well with sweet diamond pink pepper and i think i'm going to continue to use this because it is now sweet diamond pink pepper season did you hear me it is sweet diamond pink pepper season what is going on under my eye um look at glitter so this is gonna probably done off this season um i'll try not to can you see my hair yeah <laughs> um i actually really like this is basically done. Wow. This is why is this more done than this? Um, well it is significantly smaller actually. Well not no, it's a little almost half of it. But the Aussie collection I'm liking. The Miracle Moist conditioner and the deep conditioner. Uh I use this a lot. I'm not gonna even hold you. When I say a lot, I'll go in with the conditioner and then put this 
and I guess now that I'm running low on this, I'm gonna end up using more of this. I will leave it in my head for 30, 40 minutes. It says three minute miracle moist. Three minutes? Please stop playing with me. I will leave this in my head for 30, 40 minutes. I feel like my hair feels hydrated. I mean, I'm gonna tell you another reason my hair feels hydrated right now too. Cause you know, I gotta support a black business. I gotta support a black person especially a black woman i'm just telling you like it is does anybody want to guess what i'm about to show you yes i'm about to show you something for monty to have this is donna's recipe sweet potato as you can see my hair is on it because i actually use this sweet potato pie extra creamy hair cream rich on sweet 100 vegan this is that bitch this is my second one it smells delicious uh Made with natural sweet potatoes, stirred with vanilla, and sprinkled with warm cinnamon. The perfect hair recipe to give your hair an extra boost of moisture and shine. Guys, I use this to twist my hair. Um, it says, apply a small amount to damp or dry hair and style as desired. I don't follow the directions. I use a lot of this. I've used this new one one time. I finished off one. I should start saving empties. Here's my problem with empties. It really looks like some people be dunning off their stuff in within a 30 days, like 20 bottles. I think about all the time going ahead and doing an empties video, and but I have to do like a four month empty video. And I'm sitting somewhere with a box of empty shit. And it's just a lot for my soul because I want to throw it away. I go through every month, I go through the same cycle. And one of the cycle units is to throw everything that's not in a home in the garbage. <laughs> for the past three months, I'm really coming out of my uh, postpartum depression. And so cleaning is back heavy in rotation. But I love this. Guys, I finished the leave-in. I don't even, and I dashed it away. And I can't even tell you the brand. I forgot. I liked it too. So how I threw it away and didn't make sure I rebought it before I threw it away makes no sense. Have you done that before? Go ahead and let me know in the comment section. You ended up in a throwing away spree before your has common sense hit and threw something where you really liked after you finished it and forgot to repurchase it and now cannot remember what it was you were using. It's disgusting why I do stuff like that. But I really like this. And I, I, anyway, the point I'm saying that I like this, my hair soaks up moisture like insanity. I have a very thick strand. Like my hair follicle strands in and of itself are thick. Which is lovely, but also to hydrate it and hydrate from within it is hard. So I like I heavy on the conditioner, little on the cleanser. I walk like shampoo my hair once a week. Call me nasty if you would like. Um once a week and when i was doing braids i was like once a month uh, which i think is also just fine um do what's right for your head but anyway the white mother freaking flakes i'm still gonna use it because i but i have to only use this after i cleanse everything from my hair this is the miel pomegranate and honey coil sculpting custard i like this too as you can see i've used it but i didn't put it in my favorites because i hate that i have to completely cleanse every single drop of anything from my hair and then i have to saturate my hair in oil as i'm undoing the twist to try to like re it smells so good but i just hate that it just agitates me so i can't use it as often as i was like because as you could say i told you i only really cleanse my hair deeply about once a week a body wash i have been loving is cleo and clothes purple moonflower body wash white rose golden amber pear and linen and cherry blossom pear no, your fair lemon should look very awesome. Guys, I like this. Um, as as you can tell. Uh it's great. Um, it's just not a super gourmand scent. It's not a super strong anything scent. It's like a clean, slightly sweet, very floral, very florally fresh, not florally sharp, like a fresh floral type of smell. And I use this quite a bit. Obviously, I have my not obviously, I use the cleansing bar either my dove or um the dr brana's unscented baby one i like this uh because i still get a little bit of a scent but i use scrub like one to two times a week so my scrubs are heavily scented um whether it's from cleo and co or it's from um you know that big brand that everybody's the vanilla one the, all of that um so i don't want some a lot of times i just can't so this works really well for me. So, uh, 
and I like that as well <laughs> guys I'm still in love with this this is like my third one yes there's makeup all over it please mind your business this is a water-based sunscreen um and it it's seventeen dollars um this is literally like the third one i've been through here is a finished one that i still actually i might be able to get a little bit out of this so i'm not going to squeeze where's the cut cap to this yes there's also makeup on this it's it happens um this is basically empty though i might be able to get a little squeeze out of it so but this is my newer one um and i've used at least one or two before this so i love them it in is free is a good priced sunscreen guys and as you can tell i have melanin it does have white on it oh my gosh am i gonna squeeze this for you it's white but through some gentle moist rubbing look at that it's 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 not it's not gray it's not white anymore it's nothing crazy and it gives you a nice little glow so i like it a lot I still like the um expensive ass one that's just clear and it gives almost like a um blurring effect you guys know which one i'm talking about that elf just made a dupe to it um i also don't mind the elf one either uh i like that one too um and it's kind of like silicone -y. I, I like that i like it oh, oh here it is i like the super goop on the scene sunscreen it's sb 40 pa plus 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 yes i like this a lot too guys it's just expensive this is about the second or third one i'm using i go through about one sunscreen of these a month so this is like 30 something dollars it's like twice it's twice the price almost of the innisfree so i do bounce between the two um i do like it i hate saying that sometimes but i do and i also really like i, I just want to give you guys options because i really like all of these is this um i take off everything sun touchable invisible sunscreen and at broad spectrum spf 35 it's blurring as well just like the one i just showed you and it's clear it's nice i love it as well let's keep it moving 20 months oh my gosh that's almost done i'm still in love with the elf halo glow liquid filter nine times out of ten i'm not wearing sun um i'm not wearing a uh, foundation i'm wearing concealer okay uh and then some um bronzer this is what i'll put on my face even if i'm not putting anything on my face like makeup wise like uh, i'm not gonna go beat my whole face i'm gonna put this on my face guys i love this product it gives me a do makes me look healthy makes me look um a, definitely evens out your skin tone a little bit without being anything ridiculous i absolutely adore this um i think this is shade eight shade seven deep rich intense i have the other shade lighter than this because in this winter time this is dark i still will use it but it's it is that dark for me i love this product i also love that i can literally put on a little bit of mascara do my brows and put this on and feel absolutely beautiful i love this still there are some people who do not like this and that is fine this is the say sun melt and deep bronze this is one of my fave as you can see this dog out dog out look at something this is is there hair in this why why um this is one of my fave bronzers i think of all time it's beautiful it is not cheap however there is hella product in here i don't know how long this is gonna last because i believe say is a uh clean into four brand don't quote me on that but i feel like um say one of the reasons it did blow up is because it's a cleaner brand um i love this product it's almost like a vaseline type of texture on your face without clogging up my pores um now I'll come a little closer it gives this beautiful energy that i, I it just looks pretty and it, it's um a very warm dark enough color like look how beautiful that is and it melts into your skin it's like a balm 
and I love how I like my face right here to be a little more on the matte side but I like when I turn you see that glow well that's also from the up glow I just reapplied but this keeps also that glow so it's a little more matte here for me but it's so I don't have my fine line showing crazy under my eye but then that glow as I turn my face is just giving me a more youthful appearance I love this stuff I honestly can't recommend this enough I I'm back to using native this is the native deodorant but this is in cashmere and rain I like this um especially for a girly who keeps grabbing her sweet scents and all of that and don't this is beautiful you honestly my husband thought I was wearing fragrance up when I just wear this it's a cashmere and rain I'm gonna get like three more of them it's a slightly sweet fresh like airy smell that's absolutely gorgeous honestly um it doesn't last as long as dove i do still use I'm, I'm phasing out of my dove era i'm trying to use aluminum free stuff but a lot of these aluminum free deodorants make my underarms burn and some people don't care and be like oh you just have to power through it listen i power through a lot of pain coming out of postpartum every time my period comes each month i don't want to add more I, I swear every little time i pick up these kids all the time they're like almost 30 pounds each my back is always hurting me i don't want to add more pain to my situation if i don't have to and this doesn't hasn't been giving me any problems lately i mean i i don't know why i stopped using it i mean it's not the cheapest but i think i can just stack up on these like like three of them like two at a time and then i'll be good for the sum uh the fall the winter time like the fall and winter if i get like two more uh paraben free and aluminum free oh i think what also happens i go through this quite quickly and it is you can see it's like a solid so it does offer because i'm putting it on my arm and now you're seeing clear which most of the time it is but it does ball up a little bit to the whiteness but it's swiper weather so it'll be fine um i'm loving it though lately the smell is just immaculate glow recipes watermelon um glow ph and bh pour tight toner i don't know how people are finishing off a lot of these things like this before they go bad i have to make sure this isn't something i have to throw away actually i've been i don't use these types of toner like the pha bha because they're like you know they they're I, my skin it just have to be gentle with stuff like this so i use only about like once every two weeks and i think it does its job in keeping my pores clear I just can't this can't be a toner I use all the time um but I like it and I like that and I'm wondering if I have to buy a new one because it looks like it's separating a little bit but I've been loving it so I can only use it like two three times max a month otherwise I feel like now my skin is fighting for its life you don't want to keep stripping too much of your barrier you know what I mean but I do like it I like the packaging I like how I feel when I use this and I like this like cactusy bright smell it's nice it's just giving luxe and wonderful i'm really loving the glamnetics brush on nail glue glamnetic nails are also a fave of this month they're just ph phenomenal this is the second bioma moisturizing rich cream i do actually have found that today on accident first one it is empty okay this is not my second one i like this it's great it's a light but super hydratingly beautiful moisturizer. I like it. Now, we are going into cooler weather. I will definitely be able to use this, but I'll probably have to use like two to three layers of this, which is not the end of the world for me. However, more to my collection and also purple. So they work great standing next to each other. It's the Coco Kind Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. Coco Kind. Coco Kind. Come out from behind the people them and introduce yourself because this... I don't hear enough people talking about this. This is amazing. Some people try to say it was a comparison to something else, and then people are like, no, it's not. It's not. But what it is, it's very hydrating and leaves me with a dewy touch. Can you see how I love to look a little dewy? It does something for me. This is thick. The smell is kind of a little clay esque, but it is so nice and super hydrating. I will steam my face. Sometimes I'll just steam my face in the shower. Come out and apply this immediately. I'm trying to play with a toner I feel like I can use often. Because as we're moving into the colder season, I'm about here on this toner. And it's not in my favorites this time around. Because I feel like as I'm adding into the colder weather, it's not hydrating enough. Um, and my skin needs something different. So 
I like this, <clears throat> but I don't I, I don't think I'm going to be using this anymore. Uh, my skin liked it in the warmer weather, and then as it started causing breakouts as the weather started to cool down and much more rain is hitting. Uh, and I stopped using it to see if this was the product that was causing it, and the, the bumps went a little... They, so I'm not sure what's going on. I um, So we'll see again next summer if this product works for me again in the heat. But this could just be a seasonal thing for me, which is fine. That also happens, you guys. You know what I mean? But I'm really loving this Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. It's great. I, the smell is not my fave, but it's great. Great. Uh, I don't suck too much about this. Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting multi -use sculpting Concealer is back in my collection. I used to be my fave. Too Faced is a great brand. Um, it's just in its era where I guess it's not as booming because it's, you know, the clean girl is all XYQZ. I love this product and I'm glad I put it back in my collection. Chai is literally basically my skin color. Um, maybe a half a shade lighter. So it's great for when I want those looks where I'm doing something dramatic like this obnoxious pink. Or, you know, just trying to do an everyday look. Um, I love this. And when I want to add a pinch of brightness, the, um... I love this product too. I just feel like by itself it creases a little more under my eyes. So I do mix with, a, you know, these two together. This is the Naked Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. This is in S70 and N, which is a little brighter than this one. I'm going to just show you real quick. Oh my gosh, the time, 30 minutes. Look how well this shade matches with me. What? Now, when I want to add just a pinch of brightness, I'll go ahead and add this one, which is still a fairly good shade match um, for my under eye, you know, giving that little bit of a brightening effect, but it gives it just a pinch more of a brightening effect. Do you see the difference? Right. These two together are chef's kiss for me. <laughs> I'm still deathly in love with Rare Beauty's um, uh, blushes. But what has me in a chokehold right now is grateful, this red. It's absolutely immaculate. Another blush that has me in a chokehold is this one by Juvia's Place in Lily Love. This is the one I use when I want to blush, but I don't need it to be, right? I am in my pink girl era. I am still in love with One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio and Fat Ass with a PH. This thing is immaculate. I don't, this, this is my least favorite thing. I rarely use it, to be honest with you. But I think that's more with, to do with how much glitteriness it puts on there. I'm digging the heck out of this. And I like this. So I, what I usually do is I go in with this first, this powder. And then I go in with the cream on top of it. It's great. Elf's Body, Body, Brow Lift. Honestly, one of my favorite brow products. Um, it makes my brows stay in place very well, and it's super affordable. It's amazing. Right now, I'm really liking the Maybelline Sky High, but that has more to deal with the fact that I have not repurchased my fave mascara of all time yet, and I finished that off, um, which is... Let me know if you know what my fave mascara is that I've been gassing in the blue bottle. But I can only buy it online. You can't buy it in the store. But I really do like this Maybelline Sky High lash sensational i just like it it's on my eyes actually now now uh at this point but it, it's nice it is not one that i can just like wash off quite easily and it comes off in little flakes but it's a nice one and it does what it needs to do especially since i'm not really wearing lashes like that anymore did i finish oh no morphe morphe you one of the best releases for me, uh, for makeup of this year is these drip glass drenched lip glosses. They are fantabulous. And yes, this is what's on my lip today. This is gorgeous. Um, this is in Deep Brick. And it is, look at this. Look at how well it suits my melanin. It's going to be a darker color on lighter skin complexion. But... I always have a hard time finding like a like a neutralized pinky type of color that I can just throw on and move. Now a lot of times I do line this with something, but I, I feel a lot lately that I can just rock this and not look like a washed out crazy woman. 
Does that make sense? I love this. I have a couple of these and I like all of the ones I have. What's also amazing about this, I feel like they short circuited themselves calling this a lip gloss because over time, as you saw my lips, I've had that on my lips for like two hours already and you see I've, I've been drinking water, I've been eating, I'm, um, and it was still on my lips. You saw it, right? Okay. Uh, it leaves the, sh the the hydration behind. So I don't, it's got to be like a hybrid of, of, of lip gloss and something hydrating in here because it's, I've had lip glosses that leave my skin and leave my skin drier than what, what I did before. And this does the opposite. I don't know. I'm amazed. I'm not a big fan of this cream. It's giving vagina. I'm not sure why I see vanity cream and think vagina, but it says this vanity cream moisturizer, this, I mean, moisturizer cleanser, cheap, but it's, amazing i prefer this so like the green cleanser that's expensive i prefer this to the lotion green um uh white bottle white bottle with the green oh my gosh that's in the affordable section too that just feels like i'm putting lotion on my face um some of y'all everybody's skin is different but i don't like if i can't feel somewhat clean which is yeah okay that that feeling is not good that's fine and dandy but my skin also will still break out. Actually, let me just go get it. I just want to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm trying to move as fast as I can because I'm not editing this video. The set of Hydrating Facial Cleanser for Normal to Dry Skin. This is almost done and I've had this for like six months and I'm still not done with it. I don't hate it. I just feel like if this was a moisturizer, this exact like situation, I would like it a lot more. It doesn't feel cleansing and then I still will potentially break out. I have to use like like three different layers of this to get all my makeup off. Um, so if I'm just having, I'm just trying to get off my um, sunblock, this is perfectly fine. But if I have any any type of makeup on my skin i'm going to break out just using this so i i mean and this is gentle this is cheaper than this and this is gentle but i feel somewhat clean for sure and i haven't broken out i've been using this for about a month already this is amazing why aren't more people talking about matter of fact let me stop talking about it before y'all mess around and sell this ish out but they are both accepted by the National Eczema Association. But this is just not, I mean, if you don't wear makeup or you wear very minimal makeup, this is not taking off nobody's mascara. Any kind of mascara, even the sky high one, which is not waterproof. This is not taking off no mascara. I mess around and my eyes itching me the next day. I have to really get you something else for my eye mascara. And if you already have stuff for that, and you then this is going to be good because it's hydrating. For me, I'm a, I'm a normal to dry skin girly. This is fine. Um, this is amazing. This is amazing. And this is free of dyes, fragrant, masking fragrance, l l no, lanolin, excuse me, parabens, and formaldehyde releasers. Non-comedogenic, gluten-free. I think they say this this says the same thing. I just love this. I don't mind this. As you can say, I'm still using it. There's a little left. But I just feel like I just love this. I, I quite literally am gonna buy another one just to keep underneath my sink. Um so I don't mess around and if I can't let's say we go you know and anything can happen when the winter hits i want to make sure i have all the products i need um if need be but this is so amazing and so affordable i don't know why more people aren't talking about this anyway i wanted to wrap it up with this one this being the last product i really have been using a lot of i love this anyway thank you so much for watching this whole video please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe join the fam go ahead and drop some of the products you've been liking lately for the past month month and a half and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye bye <laughs>